I get a cut. Um, I used to cut it once every two years, but now I get cut twice a year. I have to kind of look respectable at all, you know. That's your effort at looking respectable. And has it ever seen a comb? Oh God, no. Oh, Jesus, where would I be going with a comb? <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. Before we get to work and actually do the hair dye, I do want to ask you about your own experiences of dealing with people with cancer, because you mentioned your father shaving your head earlier. He died of cancer, I believe, did he? He did. My father died when he was sixty-six. Which is young enough, man. Yes, he was very young. Uh, obviously, but it's, I mean, there's, there's not a family in Ireland that uh, is not touched by cancer. Uh, there should be far more state investment in tackling cancer, given that uh, health is probably the biggest concern of people in general. Well, I don't think you're going to find anyone disagreeing with you. Okay, okay. well, let's go. Well, so, and let's bring the Wallace well. over and see how he looks. That's good. That's enough. I think you need a bit up top. You need Don't mind me. I'll definitely go with the tomorrow. Oh, you've got to help us. Go on, good <laughs> man, mate. Well done. <laughs> I didn't dry it, no, I just shake it, but I never dry it. Oh, that's okay then. <laughs> oh my god, he's like shaking all over me here. Go on. Okay, no, you see, what did you have to fear? <laughs> yeah, you well, think? hey, what now? There's not much bothers me anymore, so um, uh, pink hair won't bother me either. You've been a very good sport coming along and doing this today. We very much appreciate you doing so. No and problem. Thank you given that it's all for the Shaver Dye campaign. Thank yeah. you very much, mate. No problem. Woo! Yeah. I thought it was supposed to be subtle. <laughs> I actually think I've got a stronger colour than you have. I uh, wish you'd be stronger than me anyway. 